Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Hausman. I'm the State Urban Entomology Extension Specialist for MU Extension, and we're going to talk about fire ants. It's very understandable the measures that have to be taken now during the drought to purchase hay and bring it into the state, uh, but it's important that we don't compound that problem and introduce a new pest species that could literally cause millions of dollars of damage. Most of the establishment occurs because humans carry them around, and that's why we're so uh, concerned about this potential establishment. Since there's so much hay that's being purchased and brought into the state right now, uh, any hay that comes from fire ant infested areas are really the, the uh, locations that we're concerned about because that's the main way that fire ants would spread, and it's the, the quickest way for them to spread. On their own, the spread and the establishment would take uh, many years. Whereas when we help them through uh, transporting it across state lines in hay or nursery stocks, it can take a matter of days before they can spread hundreds or thousands of miles even. If fire ants are found on the farm, they can have devastating impacts, uh, especially on newborn livestock. Uh, they also, their mounds have a devastating impact on equipment as it's uh, driven and used out in the field. And finally, management practices and that are used to combat fire ants can have a significant impact and can change the way things are done on the farm in a lot of different ways. The most uh, common way of, of coming into contact with these ants is when they don't run the other way. They actually come at you and sting you. And when you have an aggressive stinging ant like that, the first thing you ought to be thinking of is the red imported fire ant. If you discover aggressive biting ants that are in the hay that you've purchased, especially from areas that are south of Missouri, it's important not to ignore that warning sign. Uh, you need to contact your local MU Extension office and also the Missouri Department of Agriculture for more uh, information on how to deal with this threat to keep it from becoming established.